Um, Cause like the RPG games I have for Wii, I have Super Paper Mario. That's not a bad game. I think I might LP that somewhere down the road, but not for a long time. Another RPG game I have is Tales of Vesperia on the Xbox. Shit. Which I only just recently beat that game, so I don't think I'll LP it just yet. Actually, I don't think I'll ever LP it. I don't know. I'm kind of reluctant to record Xbox games for some reason. My Xbox actually isn't really hooked up yet. Some people have been asking me, like, can you add me, please, on Xbox Live? Like, I don't see, I don't really see the point, because not only do I rarely ever play that thing, I also don't have Xbox Live Gold anymore, and I don't think I'll get it for a long, long, long at time, because, because all Xbox Live Gold does for you is able to play online games, and most of the ones I have are only, like, shooter games, which I just get bored of pretty fast. So I don't think going out to Walmart and buy an Xbox Live card for $20 just for three months of that game. Which I'll probably only play it for like a few days and then get bored. Which is why I think that the Xbox is kind of stupid. I mean, like, it's it's good, but it's online pretty bullshit if you ask me. I know I'm not saying that Xbox Live is a bad online server, I'm just saying that the way they do things is stupid. And I'm not like the only one that agrees with me. Like, if you go out and ask some people about like how X, how Microsoft does their Xbox stuff, and then you'll say that, well, they're they're actually pretty stupid, yeah. They really just want a lot more money, which I think they have enough, don't you think? I mean, Bill Gates has has to be making like what, a like hundred dollars a second, pretty much. <laughs> That's just from Windows. Now we, now we have Xbox going on. I don't know. I actually was thinking about getting a PlayStation 3, but the PlayStation Network sucks ass. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to do one more race and then call it. Let me call it there. Because we're almost at an hour. Man, I gotta let editing to do. I got a few more Twilight Princess episodes to uh, edit, and then I'm gonna have all this to edit. But, like, like I'll upload like the first episode of this today, um, and then I'll upload another episode of Mario Kart along with another episode episode of Twilight Princess tomorrow. And just keep doing that. But like, um, on. Twilight Princess for like dungeons. I don't know if I mentioned this in the LP. I forgot. But I'm gonna upload like two episodes a day for dungeons. Mm. Which I think I did mention that. I don't know. I don't have a very good memory for some reason. Mm. Yeah, Mountain Dew can is already empty. Woohoo! The final race is something that I wanted! <laughs> N64, Bowser's Castle. Or I just call it Bowser Castle or something. Why don't I just call it Castle Bowser or something? Instead of Bowser Castle. It's kind of stupid. You have to call it either Bowser's Castle or Castle Bowser. One or two. You know what I didn't understand? For like the era of N64, the plumps just look like blue clay blobs, pretty much. I never understood why. Like in Super Mario Bros. 3, where they first appeared, they had spikes all over them to make them look like really intimidating and deadly. But in the N64 games, they just look like blue blocks, pretty much. And can someone tell me why? But then, like, after N64, they just went right back to looking like they, their old selves. I don't know, maybe Nintendo was just trying something new, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know, it's just that they kept that design for all through the NES, and then all through the SNES. But when N64 hit, they changed them. 
But at least now they're back. They look a lot better. Even in 3D. I mean, look at that. That looks pretty good. So let's put a fake item right there. <laughs> so like if they hit it, and then they'll go right, and they'll stop right under the swamp, and then the swamp will crush them. Ha 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 ha. Whoa, someone actually hit it. Every time I race on this stage online, whoops. Every time I race on this stage online, I'm always like in first, unless I do something stupid like that. I don't know why. I'm just like always in first, minding my own business, and everyone just like beats the crap out of each other back there. See, look! I'm, I'm ahead of like everybody again, except that guy right, be right behind me who's Funky Kong. I hate Funky Kong so much. Just because he's like one of the hardest characters to unlock in the game, everyone thinks that just because you're, you're beating him means that you're good at the game. You're not getting me this time, Whomps. No! And you know what's really pathetic? Um, online, you'll notice that some of the world records, if you, if you have this game, and you look online on the time trial, uh, look at the world records, and then download that ghost. For some of these races, people actually hack. They can get a race done in less than a second. It doesn't matter what kind of shortcuts you take, there is no way you can actually do that on any of these races. I even downloaded the ghost and watched him, and he ran into all these kind of walls and went off-road so many times. And the only way he could finish is by hacking. Which I think is really stupid, just to get your face on the Hall of Fame. God. People will, like do anything for that. And it's not even their face, it's the knee's face. What's the point? <laughs> Dry Bowser looks weird. Oh, stupid bullet bill. But I don't win by hacking. I win by sheer skill and outmaneuvering, like I just did. I mean, I mean, I did something extremely stupid, and I still won by a long shot. Oh well, yeah. Well, I don't know anything else to do with this game. I mean, like, whenever I play it, I'm just gonna play online, pretty much. Ooh. That was pretty fun. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. Yeah!